Dearly beloved, today is Monday Thursday. This service is a very important service in the life of the church. It is on this day that Jesus went with his disciples, celebrated the Holy Eucharist, and then he proceeded to the Garden of Gethsemane and then for the trial. And therefore this service will be a communion service. And let us invoke the presence of God. Let us worship God and live in God, whose dear Son on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of his body and blood, who in these holy mysteries gave up a pledge of eternal life. Mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully proclaiming our deliverance from slavery and death, so that we lift up the cup of salvation, call on your name and walk before you in the land of the living. Through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. Amen. Let us worship the Lord by singing the hymn which will be screened. My father, if it is possible, you will come to take him from me. 
If not that I will, but that he will, then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. The Jew went not to watch the king for one hour to ask Jesus, Watch and pray, so that you will not fall in the temptation. The spirit is still weak, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I will be here, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping. He called them out, I say it. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the heart is near, and the son of man is seated in the hands of the man. Right, let us go. Here come him and stay. Here and stay in the name of the We welcome you to hear the word of God on this Monday Thursday. And as we had just heard, this is the day that Jesus went with his disciples to have his last meal, celebrating the Passover festival. The Passover festival is very important to the Jews because they come to Jerusalem at least once a year and they celebrate this festival. And Jesus also took this tradition seriously and he gathered his disciples and they were around the table and he ministered unto them. It was at that time that Judas was thinking of betraying Jesus. And it was at this time that the disciples who wanted to find who is the first after Jesus, who is the next after Jesus. And all these disciples were gathered around him. And therefore the table is meant to express the love of God. Jesus gathered all of them because he loved them the most. Even though they had their limitations and we know that we also have our limitations. We have seen the rich, we have seen the poor, we have seen the educated, the non-educated, we have seen those who do wrong things, wicked and at the same time we also find the righteous people. And when we see a galaxy of people of varied natures, it is our responsibility to love everyone, just like Jesus loved. The, love, the, sad, the Eucharistic table is the table of love. Jesus gathered around the table and expressed his love. And therefore, all of us in this world, all of us in this country are our brothers and sisters, irrespective of what they are, irrespective of their religion, irrespective of their caste, and irrespective of their classes. And then we also see in John chapter 13 and verses 1 to 5, which we have just heard read, that Jesus washed the feet of his disciples, which expresses Jesus' humility, even though it has a divine mystery around it. Even today, it is practiced in many churches, very symbolically, that the pastor would call one of the congregation members and wash his or her feet. This shows the humility of Jesus. Today, we take pride in saying that this is what I have done. This is what I have done with my knowledge. This is what I have done with my, with my riches. I have built this kingdom. I have built that empire. Just like Nebuchadnezzar said that there is pride when we say certain things. 
When there is pride, we need to be humble. We need to say, Lord, I am for you. Jesus or God always is against pride. That is what is written in the Bible. God is standing against the people who are proud. And let us remember the towel of Jesus. The towel of Jesus is to wipe the feet of the disciples. And then Jesus, after having the fellowship with his disciples around the table, and also wiped the feet of his disciples with the towel, he proceeded to a place, a garden called the Garden of Gethsemane. And he proceeded there in order to pray to the Father. He took a two, three of his disciples along with him to pray along with him, but they were not praying, they were sleeping because they were tired. But on the other hand, Lord, the Lord knelt down and he looked to the Father and he prayed to the Father. Gethsemane expresses the great prayer of Jesus as it is recorded in the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 26 and verses 36 to 46. And it is at that point where Jesus prayed the famous and the great prayer. He prayed the Lord remove this cup from me and yet it is not my will let your will be done. Jesus was courageous to accept the will of God. He was undergoing the suffering already. He was agonizing within himself. But Jesus said, Father, your will is my will. We often pray the prayer of the Lord, which says, let your will be done as it is done in heaven. Which means that Lord's will should be our will. And Jesus made the prayer as an example for all of us that we should offer ourselves to the will of God. And it was at that time he was arrested. And he was arrested by the great betrayal. And it was done by one of his beloved disciples. He kissed Jesus and betrayed Jesus. Kiss is a symbol of love. Kiss is a symbol which expresses affection. We kiss a baby. We kiss our parents. We kiss our beloved ones. It is an expression of love. It is an expression of affection. But the disciple of Jesus came to Jesus and he kissed Jesus. That kiss was not the kiss of affection. The kiss was a kiss of betrayal. How many times we had called ourselves Christians and have not obeyed the will of God. How many times that we have gone astray from God. How many times we have left the Lord unpraying, not praying, not reading and meditating God's word. All these are betrayals to Jesus. And dearly beloved, let us understand the fact that Jesus was betrayed by the great betrayer, by his own disciple. And therefore, let us not betray Jesus. Let us kiss Jesus for affection. Let us bow before his feet and say, Lord, your will. Lord, I love you because you already have loved me. I didn't choose you, but you chose me. And therefore, even in the great terrorist, when Peter was attempting a violence against one of the, one of the people in the crowd, Jesus said, put your sword into its shield. And he said, 
if you take the sword you will die by the sword but what should you take you should take the cross which i am going to take and then jesus was taken to trial he was taken to the high priest caiphas he was taken to the governor pilot and he said nothing even at one point of time when pilot was asking don't you know that i have the authority to release you don't you know that i have the authority to crucify you it was then that jesus opened his mouth he broke the silence silence and said if this authority is not given by god to you i tell you the truth you have no authority over me and then he was taken to calvary where he would be crucified pilot signed for jesus's crucifixion not for his fault he was no not a criminal but he was made a criminal for our sake and he walked to calvary with the heavy cross where he would be crucified amen let us read together the apostles creed and profess our faith as it is screened I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Now we enter into the Eucharistic service and we have the elements here and you can bring a small plate and take a biscuit if there are four members in the family to take communion you can break the bread the biscuit into four pieces and you can bring a small tumbler of water which can represent the wine and if there are four members you can partake in that tumbler and as we do it here you can also do it there when we consecrate the elements here your elements also would be respectively consecrated in your places now we shall go into the communion service let us pray if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us If we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness we have not the high priest who is unable to sympathize us with our weaknesses but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are yet without sinning let us therefore kneel and examine ourselves in silence seeking god's grace that we may draw near to him with repentance and faith let us humbly confess our sins to god almighty as it is scripted let us pray o god our father we have sinned against you in thought and word and deed we have not loved you with all our heart we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves have mercy upon us cleanse us from our sins and help us to overcome our faults through Jesus Christ our Lord amen may the almighty and merciful lord grant unto us pardon and remission of all our sins time for amendment of life and the grace and comfort of the holy spirit amen amen
now we shall celebrate the bread on the night he was handed over to suffering and death our lord jesus took bread and when he had given thanks to you he broke it and he gave it to his disciples and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you do this for the remembrance of me and at this time you can also take the bread and serve among yourselves after supper he took the cup of wine and when he had given thanks he gave it to them and said drink this all of you for this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins whenever you drink it do this for the remembrance of me and let us take the cup and have it eternal god heavenly father you have graciously accepted us as a living members of your son and savior jesus christ and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through jesus christ our lord to, to him to you and, and to the holy spirit be honor, honor and, and glory now, now and, and forever, forever. Amen. amen the closing hymn will be screened and as we sing to gather the song during which time the offer tree also will be received you can bring your bundial and offer the offerings into the bundial or bring a tray or a plate and offer the offerings and bring it to the next service when you come to bishop kibacha
to the heavenly father's will you had taken god's will to be your will as we often pray that your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven lord help us to understand your will and to do your will in our lives and lord we thank you for all those who had participated in this worship service and all who had partaken in the holy communion we pray that you will bless all of us and even as we look into the situations of our country and the various nations lord we pray that you will destroy the fatal virus which affects humanity and lord we pray that not any one of us our members and in our country be going away with this virus and lord we pray that you will destroy the virus completely so that there is peace there is happiness and they let your peace descend upon the people lord we thank you for this day and if we pray that you will send us with your blessing and we ask all of this in and through the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen may the grace of our lord and savior jesus christ the love of god the father and the fellowship of the holy spirit rest and abide with all of us this day and for evermore oh